level six. I'm also gonna get commerce. Does it auto stop when you can't buy any more? That's a little annoying. Anyway, I need more metal. And definitely more oil. I need to stop it until I can get enough. Okay, boys, everybody get over here. So close. There we go. Not enough timber. Jeez. Mines here. they really need is an even larger map like a world map like this that's really big and you could have like tournaments where you have like four four people on the same in the same people so it's kind of like how we've done before in the skirmish games but yeah there's, there's no way they can beat me here i'm just gonna start stop them all they don't have the resources to move up fast enough so it wasn't in vain i'm just outdoing them quite heavily Okay, let's get some siege equipment. Is there a hotkey for this? I'm suffering from attrition. Do I not have supply? Do I have supply wagons? Population limit reached, you don't say. I want to repair this first. Temple here. Come on, get 
closer because There we go. Yes, yes, I know. Temple going. Fly wagons. Did you say jump? No, it must be because I captured it. I don't actually how their scholars could all just leave. Okay. So, rare resource we get bear. Or furs. 20 tribute. Baiting each of 3% more attrition, damage during one battle. Troops over here. Is there a way to buy troops? And look at that, India won that battle. Wow. I'm gonna have to break my alliance with India and then just go for their capital. I can only have two troops there though. Hmm, something to consider. That's pretty good. This one gives me 40 tribute. Part of me is hoping that India is going to lose this. Which they might, but I don't think so. Until I clear out up here. Because I'd, I'd want to hit Delhi instantly. I'd like all my troops. Because if I could take out Delhi, apparently I do get all their other territory. Which would give me another group of units. And you can only have one in there at a time, which makes sense. Which 
means unless they continue pushing this way and they continue not to have troops. Okay, well, I'm I'm going to call this session here. About almost an hour. It's three videos. Wow, this was a lot of stuff to happen. Brushing is good. But anyway, I'm trying to figure out what the best plan of attack is. But yeah, that's interesting that the Greeks lost. I wonder if I can convince him to give me some territory. Is there a way to... can't see the map. Oh, that's annoying. Not sure where this is. Middle economic boom, supply center. Where's the Balkans? I'm not going to be able to fight him for a couple turns anyway if this goes the way I think it will. So let's just see if he'll take it. I'm not asking for much. Got peace, got the land. I'm gonna buff this one up. Low on tribute, I know, but that's okay. And the real question is... Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I want this territory. Maybe I can get to them for, with peace. No way. There's no way to tell, like, what they would and wouldn't take. She's 30 tribute. I offer tribute. Okay, let me, I'm gonna close out of that. All you want is 30 tribute? In Siberia. Australia? They're not going to take it. Okay. So, my hope is that they stretch themselves too thin and leave me with the ability to run over them here. So I can go one, two. If this guy leaves, it'll be a piece of cake. Oh, 
he's at war with Greece. Which means if he attacks here, he'll get an extra supply troop. So, he'd have to win. Unless he's at war with... Can I see, like... I don't want to see, like, that, though. I want to see, like... A world status, I guess. Allies with Japan and India. Who's India? Does India say who they're at war with? They're just allies with me. It's just from my point of view, though. Wow, a lot of people are already out. See who that war with, though. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that shows old moves. I'm not moving up there. Which means I might be... I'm not getting attacked. I'm not at war with anybody. Interesting. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure in all the strategy aspects of it. But all I know is that I want to take out India real quick. So, as soon as I'm comfortable or... I see that, so I'm gonna move you up here next time. I'll just do that. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. There we go, that's much smarter. So I'm allies with Japan, if they attack me, that really sucks, but then again, they can't one-shot me. And uh, let's see, you've got no troops, looks like they're wiping you out. And they can only send one unit over. So basically it's... I cannot auto-lose any of these territories. That's the main thing. Just do that to be a little safer. Go ahead and hit next turn. I'll expense the industrial. They won. Okay, well, I still don't want to do anything. We're going to keep going a little bit longer. Um, one more turn. Break alliances. No. Is there a way to just straight up terminate the alliance? see it. That is one way to do it. So what I see is taking here, to claim war against the Greeks again, taking here, auto-winning here, and pushing out. That's what I see. So yeah, I'm cutting the video off here. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.